Between the official launch of the BBI report to the public at the Bombers of Kenya and the launch of the official collection of signatures, there appear to be changes to the original report. And my conversation with Eric Wanjohi, the chairperson of professional political analyst in Kenya, the change was substantiative, somewhat a result of a consensus that the deputy president William Ruto called for at the Bombers of Kenya. Uh, we can see more, uh, a, a more mandate being given to the Senate to take part not only in the devolution aspects of the country, but to also participate in uh, bringing in on board people like the Judiciary Ombudsman, people like uh, the Youth Commission and the Commissioners, and their role is now a bit wider than just sticking to devolution and counties. So some of these changes have actually brought about the process of participation that people have been uh, crying about when they say that more women are being brought into Senate but the role of Senate has been, has been uh, minimized. We can now see that Senate has been given much more roles that they didn't even have in the first place, which is a good thing for the country. In the BBI document are contents of different categories, some on policy and a segment focusing on the constitutional amendment bill. The report talks about the legislative aspects, uh, policies that are being introduced, uh, talks about also the constitutional review part. So if you are to look at the legislative aspects, there are so many acts of parliament that have been proposed to try and improve upon the economy of the country, the infrastructure development of the country, and many other aspects that affect common, common monaincho, what you'd call wajiko. So the policy aspects of it um, is, is, is a good thing and I haven't had anyone challenging it. Uh, most people are now challenging the constitutional amendment part. According to Wanjohi, the report can be looked at from three dimensions in order to weigh it on the scales of sanity and mixing the perspectives could cause misleading and even dismissal of important factors. But we need to understand that the process of BBI is a bit interesting because when you look at many people who talk about BBI, they talk about it in terms of either from a political perspective, or they can even uh, talk about it from a logical perspective, or from the perspective of the spirit of the document. Now, when it comes to the spirit of the document, everybody seems to be in consensus that yes, we can review the constitution, whether or not this is a time to do it. So everybody seems to be uh, in agreement that yes, we have a constitution which may not be perfect, and we can always perfect on it as time goes by. When it comes to the political aspects, now that introduces what you call political interests, of which now many people are focusing on. So you get people who talk about, for instance, uh, the economy, how, how will the economy be, be improved upon by bringing these constitution amendment changes. And, and the most amazing thing is that when you look at it from a logical perspective, you understand that the constitution amendments that are being proposed are not an economic blueprint to transform the economy of the country. These are vital elements of our constitution that build upon the foundation of Kenya as a country that we need to look at and review that even will define the policy making of the economic uh, blueprint or any other uh, aspect that you'd want to introduce. When you look at things to do with unemployment, there is no constitution in the world that, uh, that cushions unemployment of a country. What cushions unemployment of a country are what you'd call the government policies that are introduced, either by the executive or by legis uh, the, the, the legislative. As of Thursday the 3rd, up to 4.6 million signatures had been collected and the process is now awaiting verification of signatures by the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission before moving to the next step, which is the tabling of the report of the county assemblies. Dissecting the BBI here on Switch TV, I'm David Kagina.